you're in Ceylon. And I'm coming in. And you try and hold it if you, if you can. I'm not saying you resist me. If you really think it's there, it's there. But that is kind of spongy. If you have good key extension, it won't bounce off if I don't have good structure. That's nice. So, who knows what I just did? What did I do? I did the same thing. And now we're, I'm working with what they call conditioned response. It's very difficult for him to just maintain just an even flow here without just a little bit of, see that time he was trying not to push back and then he was spongy about coming. Right? So if he's not really trying to own that space, I'm taking it. So then when he thinks the energy is hitting him, but it didn't, he went over there and I ran the other spot. So I hit him with the energy this way and then physically bounced him the other way. Yeah. Play with it. So if you're doing, the guy's already stabbed you three times. <laughs> if you get the big, they killed you already. Your sword hasn't even started forward yet. So we talked about I have to stand properly so that when whichever foot I want to move, pick it up and move. There's no time lag here. Okay? And then if you want to fix this problem, you take it in stages. So, what has to move first here, other than my mind? I mean, physically, what has to move first? Sword. And the sword moves, why? Almost, what part of the body? Okay, so if I'm standing obliquely like this in Gaidon also, before I can even start moving, because I'm facing this way. This is the natural way to walk if I don't change the hips. That way. He's over there, so I don't want to go that way. So the first thing that happens is the hitch. At the same time, that's brought the sword to here. Then, what we were just talking about, that left hand is accelerating the tip up to the line. So, you want to practice this? So, you want to evade it? Try and evade it. You get to the point where he has trouble evading it, it's starting to be fast enough. You're doing this, he already beat it and killed you. It's just too slow. So get this piece first. Can I get the sword up there? Can I get the sword up there? Then release the body. Listen to the sound. What hit first? What did you hear first? Sword. The sword contact. And I'm exaggerating the sound so you can hear. Long before my foot ever came down, that sword took the line. And then my foot came down. If you hear this, they killed you. Because I better take the line, let me sort out. I better take this line before this body starts moving, because then when he tries to kill me, I already took the line. But if this is, it's already over. That makes sense? So then, on the move, this piece, coupled with this piece, then becomes this piece. Both 
ended up with the spirals being inside each other. Mm -hmm. And the reason for that is because you went <coughs> and you didn't catch my scent. So when I do this to you, now try and come back. Then we go to here. Because you can still try and counter the counter. Okay? So I come here and I go here and you, you countered that because you saw it. I need to go. You see it hits physical structure. You tried to bounce back and it was mine. Kendo. Okay? So conditional response. I hit him with this, I let him react to it. I'm already into the other spiral. Okay? That would be, for some of you, something you should practice. Get really fast at that because we're skipping steps for some of you. Okay? Some of you guys that have trained with me have done that stuff before. Okay? So what, we, what we're doing here now is that the first hit is not physical anymore. It's just energetic. We skipped the first hit. He still thinks it's happening. This, this, Energy-wise, there's no difference between this and this, energy-wise. Because there was one hit and then a second hit. The only thing that changed was the first hit is no longer physical. But I hit him with that, but the sword went over here. And when they reacted to what they thought was coming, it's even easier. Okay? A little more. So, despite Ikeda Sensei's use of the terms, which in the tradition of Princess Sprite do not mean what you think he means, what two things are not Naikido anywhere? Pushing. One of them? No pushing. And? Pulling. Pulling. Mm -hmm. So, despite the fact that Ikeda Sensei talks about pushing and pulling, when he's talking about it, he doesn't mean the way you typically mean it. Because most people, when you say push, think this. And when you say pull, and he's not doing either of those. Okay. So, if Gus comes here, and he beat me, he had it, he's in, and he pushes I don't resist it. So you were really nice. You stayed there. You were really strong. And because you were so strong, when he pushed you, you went like that and everything worked great. Except that you didn't have to. Mm -hmm. Whack! Boom! So, see? It's another open. There's another. See what I'm saying about if, if both people understand how to train, these problems reveal themselves. And then you have to figure out, ah, I see. That looked like it worked because it broke my balance, but it only broke my balance when I was, in, I wouldn't say stupid, I would say inadvisably tense. <laughs> I made people feeling this was inadvisable. Okay? I'll use that one. I wouldn't say stupid anymore. I don't want to hurt people's feelings. I might not make them feel validated. Sorry, never mind. That's an old thing. So, when I do this with Gus, okay, if I push here, he should just end it. Now, don't stay back there and do it. Put that in my face. Okay? So, how do I not let that happen? There's no push. Try and come in with the other end. I'm never dealing with the weapon the line of intents here. And if he tries to come in with the tip, try and hit me with the tip. He can't. If he tries to come out the other end, he can't get around it. And if he tries that, then we we'll rotate here, and he's still going to be on the blade. <coughs> so the line of intent straight to the center. At the instant where you actually start dealing with the blade, you're open. Okay? Does everybody see what I'm saying about the role of the bouquet? The role of the bouquet 
is to be good enough that I find this out. Because otherwise, we go 10, 15 years, everybody thinks this really is great, we're having a great time, it really works. And then somebody who's not stupidly tense, oops, inadvisedly tense, <laughs> okay, as soon as that happens, there was another opening there, another possibility. But nobody ever saw it, okay? The UK's job is to point these things out to the partner. Because if we're going to train the uke and the nage to be good martial artists, they're both supposed to be training to see these things. 